Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new RimWorld series! <laughs> this series is based on technology, automation, and knowledge. Let me introduce you to the protagonist of a series. Ooh, Winkle Sperm. Ooh. Winkle Sperm is an ex ship boy. Growing up on a ship, they became a systems engineer. He's an undergrounder. Like to say inside, researching. He's got a bit of an annoying voice. Hi, hi, remember that? Like, <laughs> not like that, but similar. He's ugly. It's not his fault. He's born like that. He's too smart. He learns a lot faster. And he's abrasive because he's not very social. He actually can't do social at all. And he can't do plants. He hates, he hates nature <laughs> being outside. Can't do social animals or plant work. He's got good crafting and intellectual construction. And he is joined by Silver. Silver is an android. Shoot off the assembly line, he became an adult. He became a mining drone as an adult. He's good at mining construction. Some basic stuff. He's got the robots trait. Helps him with movement speed, work speed, no psychic sensitivity or toxic sensitivity. And his mental break threshold is really low. And you've also got Stu. Stu is also a robot. But he was custom model. So we're gonna go crafting. And he became a fugitive. Rebelled against the corporation that made him. But he's got he's a good cook, plants, he's got a bit of medical to help Winkle Sperm. In this series, Winkle Sperm and his compadres are gonna be in a search for knowledge. They're gonna try and gain all the research they can from around the world and build a big factory. Winkle Sperm wants to prove that he is the greatest crafter and knowledge man in the land. Our Idolidion is the knowledge of power. It's a fluid Idolidion. This is the first time I'm using the <laughs> Idolidion uh, expansion. We've got the craft culture. The leader is whoever's the best crafter, which is Winkle Sperm. I don't know if, I don't think the robots can uh, join the Idolidion for some reason. Maybe they can, but currently Winkle Sperm, best crafter, crafting qualities increased, but the crafting speed is lowered. I've got a few of these, best leaders, crafter, increased automation, crafting quality, all of that. There's nothing, and then this is like a, it's based on like the atheism structure. We've got the mechanistic, mechanistism, uh, culture, structure and culture. Let's see. Where Winkle Sperm and the boys have landed. It's a very nice place. I've seen this spot up here based on the map, looks pretty good. But I'm not too sure about our neighbours. Yeah, there's a wee bit of a hive infestation in there. But we'll try and set up shop in the middle. Right here. This would be nice. Let's have them dig into this mountain. This might make the infestation worse. <laughs> oh, let's go to the area here. Oh no, is this going to be like a massive, <laughs> probably one more brick and then there's a whole mechanoid thing in there. <laughs> Let's sort out their jobs. There we go. That looks good for now. No fishing for you. I like to put them all number one, firefighting, patient and bed rest. And then if any of their jobs are important, we'll do that as well. Winkle Smurf's going to be researching. Or oh, not bed rest. No, 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 bed rest. Hall plus. There we go. Ooh, ancient wars printer remains. I don't think these have anything in them. Shattered remains of an ancient subscale wars printer. Whatever parts weren't ruined when it was destroyed were looted. I think they're just for decoration now. Winkle sperm, he's just saying. <laughs> He'd be an outside. <laughs> I will get you inside soon, Winkle sperm. Oopsie. These guys gone. I'm gonna consume some pemmican. These are machines. I think uh, they have bio engines inside them. When they're not using their batteries, they can convert food into energy. I want them to be the main colonists of the faction. And then only recruiting people that are intelligent, you know? That blend in with Winkle Sperm. He's so eager. Is that a blunt? Where'd you get the joint from? Okay, let's get a stockpile zone in here. Ooh, Winkle Sperm gained the role of Primus. I'll change that to make it more relevant. <laughs> These guys can. Our two bot friends, Silver and Stu, they can uh, work through the night, but 
Winkle's Sperm needs a bed. He needs a bed big time. He's, he's, about, he's having a minor break wrist already. He can't take it here. So if I work on the bed for him. What? He made his own bed. Silver ran away. His components are important too for all the machinery we'll need. I believe we already have certain research. I'm doing the semi-random research though, so I can't see. <laughs> but I can unlock the glasses to get him even more glasses. Oh. oh. That might actually be the best one. Drug production, colored lights, fire foam poppers. I'm just going to pick the one that's the lowest research amount because I don't... I don't need any of these at the moment. Just want to... Get through that one fast. Let's build a research bench. And I actually don't I don't have any weapons. <laughs> He's smoking a blunt already. Winkle sperm. That's because you're you're a bit depressed. Why are you sad? What's going on? Cause it's ugly. You were outdoors, you were just outdoors. Couldn't hack it. That's not Stu's bed. <laughs> Stu doesn't need to sleep. Winkle sperm, get in the bed. <laughs> For sake. I did the robot need the bed? Oh, he's gonna get woken up by Silver, building his research bench right next to him. There you go. He's so upset about this. Would you forget? <laughs> Would you finish his chair? Whoops sake, he's sitting there. <laughs> silver, come on. Probably wondering why Silver's not Silver. I can't explain that either. <laughs> Tried to change his color so many times, and he's just purple. <laughs> so I want to focus on automation machines. I want them to be doing most of the workforce. These are the colonists that do the little things that the robots can't do, the other robots. So we're going to have to mine all this steel. We need a lot of steel to do what we want to do. <laughs> okay, I'll silver mine this vein of steel. And then we'll expand the base a bit more, maybe like this, straight to that wall. And then I can put a table in there. Because all of them, do you, do you use mind that you ate without a table? I don't mind. It's just Winkle's farm, need to manage his mood. He's a bit fussy. Stu can collect, uh, that's not food, herbal medicine. He can collect a herbal medicine, he can collect these berry bush. We'll eat that for now. And I think just nutrient paste, because I don't believe the definitely haul that upgrade kits in. I don't think the... The machines can eat anything. And Winkle Sperm. He doesn't he's not a gourmet, he doesn't care what food he eats, he just he just wants to research. That's the only thing he cares about. Research. What are these animals dying by? The kestrel? Oh I saw that. There's the rat and then the kestrels over over here. They do we fight with each other? Oh my god. Brutal. <gasps> An eagle oil. Wow, it's so majestic. It's beautiful. Why did you have to do that, Mike? I swear. <laughs> he hate coming outside. I said, haul urgently. Stu couldn't have done it. Mike goes, Perm's like, I'll do it. I'll go for a walk outside. I love outside. Let's get them a little bit of recreation. Yeah, I can come outside to throw a horseshoe at a ring for a few seconds and then run back inside before he gets eaten by his social people. That's what happens, right? <laughs> We're just ruining his nice place. I want silver building before he mines more. Research faster, Winkle Sperm. Research faster. The, dro the drones don't need recreation either. I've never seen them care about it. I've never threw a, a horseshoe at a ring, you know? Let's build a nice table for them to eat at. Winkle sperm is getting smarter. Ooh. In terms of food, I'm thinking just a nutrient paste dispenser. Stu can do, still do some gardening if he wants. I've got so many other th options like sushi and everything, but build it here. Well, I've never really done a full indoor facility. I get, it needs to be a proper factory for these guys. I've always did a village with houses and streets to walk down, but Winkle sperm doesn't like outside. He hates it. <laughs> A proper hits it. We could use the natural environment to create a wee <laughs> trap area. We don't have any weapons, so we're gonna have to use traps to defeat our raiders. We can't really get to them to f like that one without ending ourselves. Let's see how this nutrient paste dispenser works. Need a food hopper. It's electricity time. 
Michael's farm's been researching in the dark. I need to get him something. Too big. We'll go for a wood fire. Wood fire generator first off. Because we have a lot of trees about. Oh, silver smart. <laughs> he doesn't want to break his legs. <laughs> a wall lamp for Winkle sperm. Can I build a pillar just to hold up a roof? Ooh, a rune pillar. Almost everything will be made out of steel in this. <laughs> okay, that looks nice. We'll put one in here too, just to increase the beauty and hold up anything that's about to fall. Colored lights. Well done, Winkle sperm. What's next? Sky mind antenna. Drill for oil. Basic artificial creatures. The muff unit. Oh, muff. I got, I mean, that sounds interesting. <laughs> I want the muff unit. <laughs> I've never built a nutrient paste dispenser, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I always just build farms, but farms are not priority. I'll build a farm. I'll build a farm, just so Stu has something to do. And then the farm, it might be useful. This is mud. <laughs> Where's our decent soil? That's mud. Here you go, Stu. Build it up. Shania synthesizes edible nutrient paste from organic feedstocks placed in adjacent hoppers. Consumes less ingredients and time than other meal production methods, but nobody likes eating nutrient paste. Except raw food. Well... Does he say? What do you mean, yeah, without a table? <laughs> Underground outdoors? You're indoors. Why does this count as outdoors? Oh! Lip's sake, silver. There's a hole in the wall. Build it. Nah, oh, it's indoors. Now you're happy, Winkle Sperm, right? Happy now? He's the only one whose mood we need to manage. There's gonna be a table there. Not sure what they're eating. They might be eating some decent food that we have at the start. Oh my god, that eagle owl! Went straight for that hedgehog. Oh, that's sick. I want that hedgehog. <laughs> Is eating it. We need Stu to be butchering animals too. Butchering table's currently outdoors, but I think I can just build a roof over it without uh, worrying about it collapsing. Can I build a roof over all of this? I want this whole area. This, this belongs to me. <laughs> this is my area. I stake my claim on it. Build a few more ring columns. And then we'll just roof in the whole thing, I think. I don't want them to butcher our, our colonist animals if we ever get any. But that's not that's not what Winkle's farm is focusing on. And we don't have anyone who's good at animals. Let's see if he eats it. He's gonna sit at the table. Is it a good table? That's a terrible table. Build that again. <laughs> Silver flip sake. I think you can do this now. You can like change the the graphic. Oh, it could be a chair, or it could be like that, or that, or just a stool. It's fantastic. Deconstruct that. That is awful. Turn. We got a visitor. We've got a visitor. I'll be with you in one second. I just gotta teach Silver how to build a table real quick. Silver, build a, a good table, please. <laughs> it's normal. It's better than poor. Where's the visitor? Coming in from... It's Bucky! Oh my goodness, Bucky's coming to visit! Come on over Bucky, the only thing we've got here is killer oils. Now can we roof in the whole area? Let's try that. I don't think I need to roof in this area because it's under a mountain. There's the, the roofs in green and then in dark green is the under a mountain area. Might hurt us in the future. Oh! Look at that. A glue bulb started growing. I love that mod. I just dialed it recently, but it, you get like little mushrooms growing when you mine in deep. Sorry, mushroom. Build it like that too. <laughs> I don't want an infestation. Oh, no, it's there, t there as well. There we go. Easy as pie. Have we got, where's our visitor? I think Silver's the one of the best social. He's got four. Stu's got none. And Winkle's farm can't do social. <laughs> Trade with this guy. Trade with Bucky. Maybe he wants some of our mountains of steel. Ooh. He's got components. I'll always need components, right? I can't give him anything except our weed. <laughs> except our smoke leaf. I don't have any silver or weapons. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. We need to get silver. Let's check the map. Silver, where are you? 
silver. Oh my god, what was this, a battle site here? Ancient macro engine. APCs. We got walker foot. <laughs> Is this... Are these birds, like, really violent or something? The rabbit bit it in the body and it died, the kestrel. And then the rabbit, the hare. Yeah, it was good, but the kestrel. Kestrels are lethal, but they're also suicidal. <gasps> Is that silver? Silver! Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of silver. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of Gippian machinery. Winkle Spar. <laughs> Is he praying? <laughs> He's the leader of like a atheistic religion ideology. Are you praying to the god of knowledge? Knowledge. Odin. Baby Odin. That the banging will stop. <laughs> Blipsick. We need a gun. It says we need colonist beds, but they don't... Stop smoking, Winkle Sperm. Let's start building the basic buildings, we'll be fine. It's not... Are we... Uh, that's outdoors. Oh, because of this. Okay, we'll build it like that, and then we'll leave that door open so that... Uh, we'll do... Hold open. So now this counts as indoors. And now that it's indoors, I can put stuff here. Storage pallets and stuff. Let me... Oh, look at the storage. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. And then they will be allowed for anything manufactured. Which is just, it's the leather and such. Raw resources or manufactured. You happy, Winkle Sperm? Jesus. <laughs> High on smoke leaf. Eat nutrient paste. Add the disgusting, tasteless. Oh, eating nutrient paste is disgusting for our religion. God damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Let me make a kitchen. Electric stove. Get slotted in there. That's nice. Huh. I wonder if they can take the nutrient paste back out of the hoppers. The only person really making meals for. Jesus. A flash storm. Did it hit something? Did it hit you? <laughs> oh my god. Well. There goes the forest. <laughs> oh no. Oh sweet jeez. Oh. Okay, let's just pretend it's, it doesn't exist. It's not like we can do anything about it anyway. <laughs> because we have so much steel, I might put steel floors in here just to make it cleaner. Oh. Shit, <laughs> there's a goose coming for us. Oh no. Not the goose. It's not coming for us. It's going for these two. I wasn't notified about them being here. Okay, the flash storm's over, but if you can see on the mini map, <laughs> it's left a bit of a, a mark. I don't think the goose is going to catch them before they leave, so... The goose is going to come for us. Can something else kill the goose? <laughs> they, <laughs> these birds are lethal. Uh, they're lethal to themselves. Yeah, there's the goose. He's turned around. He's coming. Who's he going for? He's going for Stu. Stu, no. Stu's just chopping trees outside because he hates nature. It's not his fault. It's the way he was made. We'll test our traps then. Get it, Stu, go on. <laughs> Stu had no clue what was coming after him. He just walked inside to put some wood away. And then the goose ran right into the trap. And then Stu's gonna butcher it up. Nice one, Stu. We'll be having goose for dinner tonight, boys. Oh, research finished. Winkle sperm. Oh, God, what is that? Tree sewing. That doesn't look like tree sewing. Farm props. Pemmican might be okay. Pemmican instead of nutrient paste. 
I don't think they'd be used growing crops. And I'm living in a forest. Well, <laughs> maybe not for long. <laughs> if the fire. <laughs> I'll research pemmican because it's cheapest. So cooking a simple meal. Find vegetarian meals and then they'll get a bit of a mood buff. Uh, fine meals require a bit of meat and a bit of vegetables. Fine vegetarian. I'll do fine vegetarian and fine meat. And then I'll set the worker to stew because I don't want to get food poisoned. <laughs> and I'll do it until I've got 10 of both of them. Why is Winklesperm building that? Get researching Winklesperm. Re research that. Oh my god, he just jumped into bed. On top of that brick. <laughs> Using the brick as a pillow. <laughs> Oops, sake, Winklesperm. That's not what pillows are. Oh my goodness. Ooh, goose egg. He wants goose egg for dinner. Also, give me those berries. <laughs> goose egg and berries, yummy. I'm just a wee scavenger at the moment, getting <laughs> mushrooms, berry bushes, everything. I don't have any weapons to hunt the animals. And my crops aren't grown yet. So I haven't checked this side of the map. It's got the uh, ancient generators, some ancient barrels. More berry bushes. Compact machinery. Just what the doctor ordered. Wow, then down in this side of the map we've got the like a demon ritual area. <laughs> what is that floor? Steampunk rose quart tiles. Ooh. There's also a free rabbit. Don't mind if I do. They don't have many what's that? Ancient car frame. Wow. A dead hedgehog. Is <laughs> this? Oh. Okay, I think that. Oh, is blood loss extreme? He's actually gonna die. I saw his health at 99% and I thought he was fine, but he's lost most of his blood. Well, could be eating eagle as well. Harvest them mushrooms. Harvest them berries. I do have electricity, so I could store them in a fridge or a freezer, which will make them last. Let's build a fridge here next to where we've got the dining area and everything. We just need better forms of electricity. Maybe a solar panel before we run out of components. Oh, as well. <laughs> because we've got the androids, we should have, yeah. Ah. Oh. These android pods are used to repair them. I can't use medical. I can't put them in a medical bed to repair them. I gotta use this android pod. I need eight construction. Currently silver is the one I'm building up. Six construction. This is build more stuff. They don't go in there. <laughs> you guys freeze your plasteel. No, oh, Stu found a dead hedgehog and he was out for his morning walk. <laughs> Where'd you get that, Stu? Oops, sake. They don't clean up the dirt. Ooh. Share beliefs with Stu about immortality through sky mine, sky clouds. I believe we may grow our own food here and that will definitely give us a great start. Yes, Stu, it'll be alright. They're so optimistic. Unlike Winkle's firm. All he cares about is knowledge. I think it's okay to butcher just out here in the dirt, but cooking it, it's clean in this room, I believe. I believe. I mean, you've got an awful bedroom. Look at this bedroom. I wish I had a bedroom like this. <laughs> you've got the bed, you've got the dining room and the fridge and all in your bedroom and a research table. What more can you want? Oh, here comes the rain. They put out the massive fire and we got our name our colony. Winkle Sperm thinks we should give it a name. Our faction. I'm just going to go with tech nerds at the moment. If you guys have a better suggestion for the name based on the theme, what we're going for, let me know. I can rename it in the future. I'm going to call this uh, tech Dopia for now. The deck nerds of Dectopia. 
Okay, we got Buck self taming. Buck one. Welcome to the colony, Buck one. You didn't want to be a Vizard? <laughs> they want to be a Vizard grazing in the in the grass. He wanted to come over to us and <laughs> start mining. Lip's sake, Buck one. What is this? We've got this Maria chunk. Maria, you wanna be here? I need to get someone stone cutting. Right here. Where's Stu? Stu? Oh, okay. He's, <laughs> he's grabbing the dead geese. Land about the place. It's all small animals. We need, uh, <laughs> I need weapons of some sort. Let me see if there's anything we can we can build. Um, Stu, each one in melee. Uh, <laughs> Said a word about weapon care to Stu. He just said one word. Melee. Stu was like, oh. It's unheard of. Can we just get this crafting spot in here for. <laughs> Make beads. Make beads. Cigarettes. <laughs> it's so primitive. So primitive for these advanced machines. Do two short bows and then we'll make two backpacks maybe. We need 50. Have we not been getting loads? You've been chopping up loads of birds, Stu. Where's all the birds? Where's all the feathers? What have you been doing with them? Let's put a light outside here. We can't. <laughs> this is indoors now. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, we'll just put one there. Right in the middle with you. Winkle Sperm's having a nice wee sleep. He's still got the brick in his bed. Silver and Stu are, are bots. They're like tier two androids. So they would be less than a person. I think tier one and tier two are less than what people can do. But they're still full people in our hearts. It's fantastic having people don't need to sleep. Stu and uh, Silver, they're just roaming around, doing their jobs at night. For base defense in the future, I don't, I don't think I want to build a kill box, but more of a kill corridor. It'll be something like remember the in Resident Evil with the lasers. It'll be like that. Just one big long corridor into the factory. We'll just have turrets or something on the walls and bombs on the ground. Pop-up turrets, if we can get those. That'd be nice. No camp, you We'll have to go wind turbine. Should be okay where the crops are. Uh, chop these trees down. There's no place for you here now. We'll put the cables down. Spacecraft. Oh my god, what's that? Small architect chunk. Black ship chunk. Started to roam away. He'll leave the map unless you handle the ropes. Get it back in the pan. I don't want to handle the ropes in the pan. Let it go. They've got bigger technological things to think about. With our big brains. We need to know what's inside these. Pemmican finished. Ooh, give me something good. <laughs> Leather tanning. Drilling for oil. Prisoner containment. Gas extraction. That is a lot. But if we have that gas thing on the map. Unlocks research deep wells and cam fuel refining. Let's look about for a Helixian gas, that one. That's steam. Do they look different, the Helixian one? Oh, the cam fuel pond. Well, I've got a cam fuel pond right there. I think that seals it, right? Before I go for this cam fuel refining, it unlocks cam fuel refining afterwards. It's the most expensive research there. Do it. Do it. I need to build with this farm's own research lab. It has all the bells and whistles. Why is he outside? Why are you doing that? Get get back inside. Get back inside right now. Have the bugs grown much? Let's see if the bugs have grown. Eh, not really, it's the... Uh, making a mess. B 
being nice and calm and relaxed. Have you done this yet, Winkle Sparrow? I think he woke up, and because he was set to construct, he <laughs> deconstruct, he went and did it instead of crafting first. Oh, our first raid. Here we go. <laughs> I, had to f I think I fixed the storyteller because it was. <laughs> it's been a couple of days, but I couldn't tell because these two, Silver and Stu, were awake the whole time. And the days just all blurred together as one <laughs> for me. Let's see what we got going. This is probably raid number one. What has he got? What has he got? He's got a steel knife and a steel hatchet. Wow, he's got a joint as well. This guy. Plants, undergrounder, just like, how do you be an undergrounder and an ecologist? That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> <How do> you... <laughs> ethical ethics? Oh no, they're too ethical for us. Oops, sick. Get inside, boys. Where's the other one? I've also got a wild woman wandering in. Yasmin. She's trigger happy body modder. Okay, she doesn't like her feeble body. Slow learn, she's a snob, neurotic. I don't like all the negative traits you got there on you, Yasmin. Come back inside, Stu. Everyone back inside. Don't need to deconstruct the ship. Chunk there, silver. Wait there. Maybe you can. No, because the ship chunk I think is over here and there's where the enemy is. Did you craft this? Winkle Sperm! Craft! Craft the bow. We need it to defeat our enemies. Oh, we made an excellent one! Wow. Excellent short bow. Well, we'll see how far silver gets. It's just if silver... Um, gets injured too much, I can't fix him. I wanted his construction up to level 8 so he can build the beds for us, but it's on 6 still. Okay, they're beginning their assault. They're beginning their assault. Return to base, Silver. Stay as well. What have you got? You're hauling fungus to the hopper. Maybe you can get there in time. He better be fast, Stu. <laughs> He's got a box of mushrooms in his hand trying to run for, run from the Anoi. There's Stu there and there's Lynn coming. <laughs> run, Stu! Run with the mushrooms! <laughs> Get them in, we need them for dinner tonight. <laughs> I'll let him make his thing. I'm hoping the guy dies. <laughs> Don't you break! That's my little wooden horse pin! No! Winkle Sperm's gonna be upset! He's the only person that uses it. Don't break my thingy. I swear. <laughs> oh shit. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. No, we let her in. Oh my god, and just got an axe. Oh, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Oh my god. Stu. Come on, melee attacker. Winkle sperm as well. What's this? Boosting combat skills of everyone nearby. It lasts for 24 hours. Might need that. Might need that. Quick. He's doing it. He's boosting them. We got her. Oh, we got her down. We've done it, boys. We done it. Silver. Was it silver? Silver didn't take any damage. Stu got cracked a little bit with a knife. He's okay. Lynn, on the other hand, has been bruised a lot. <laughs> Very bruised. What do we build? A, we, we capture as a prisoner? She's good with plants, undergrounder, ecologist though. She's trigger happy, but she's got nothing in shooting. No passion for it either. Good of animals. Plants. Oh, she's incapable of dumb labor. That's gonna have to be a no for me. I'm, I'm sort of 
feeling incapable of saving you now. Ooh, take your clothes. <laughs>